Hello Ringlets and welcome. This is episode 2 of my Kalmar FF play on Football Manager 2015. Where we last left off is we won 3-1 against the under 21s. I let in a goal and then we scored 3 after that. I had set up an initial set of tactics um, here which is quite defensive. I haven't set up any other tactics yet. My friend Dan told me to check out a player called Christopher Ayer. So we're going to look for him now. So what is his name? Christopher Ayer. Here we go. Where is he from? So he is from he's from Norway. Uh what club is Start? They are from the Tipple Tipple Ligan. Uh, start. Do you want to finish? Oh, no. Uh, scout report. Let's do a scout report on him. And, um, right. So, let's have a look at all this stuff. So, let's press the space bar. Larson set to sign for Heronveen. Stefan Larson. So, how much money were you going to get for him? 40k. Alright. Goodbye, Stefan Larson. Uh, let's put you there. Okay, so we got a good report for this player, valued at 200k. Um, how much money do we actually have? Uh, transfer budget 500k. Will they take 100k? They want 1.5 million. They'll take 300k and then 800k up there. Um, what if I do? We don't really have that much money. What if I do 200k and then 875? Eight, They've accepted it. Let's have a look, see what happens later. We've received this offer of 8,000. Who has made the offer? Red Star. Ah, oh, okay. Um, right, well, let's take away these. And let's just ask straight up front how much is he worth anyway? 10k. We'll ask for 10.25 up front. There we go. A yet offer accepted. Uh, can he be a key player? And. I'm not going to be able to play this. Agent fees going up so high. Can give him quite a big signing on fee. Quite a lot of appearance fee and unused substitute fee. What the f? We'll try later on when we have more money. I promise you guys, we will get some better, better players. 10k. Out you go, son. Bothroid. <laughs> what? 80 Bothroid? No. 80 Bothroid? No. Because that's obviously a manager. Jay Bothroid. Um, well, let's scout him. He's probably going to be... Well, actually, no, it says approach, approach to sign, so his wages. Usually with free players, what I notice is that if they're free and they're good, their wages are high. Because, I mean, they're not even attached to a club. My next match is going to be against Lingeby. Um Again, any Swedish people watching this video, can you let me know what this Swedish cup group means? Like... Is it a group? If you look here, I'm in Swedish Cup Group 5. Uh, group 5 is here. So, is it like a qualification group and you have to win the group to proceed in the competition? Is that what it is? Or, you know, it's. I don't know this style of grouping. You know, it's different on the FA Cup. So, let me know if you're Swedish. Or if you understand this and watch this video, let me know what it's all about. But I think it means that, you know, the winner of this group plays this group, the winner of this group plays this group, but then there's an odd group. Unless there's more. No, there isn't an odd group. Hang on. There's eight groups, so there is no odd groups. It's fine. 13 days we've got a match against Lingeby. That's actually our first official match against um, proper opposition. I am excited to bring you this. Um, 
playthrough as well on Kalmar. I've never done Al Svenskan before. It is going to be something quite interesting for me to do. Um, at this point in time, it is all about scouting. Let's check the Premier League. Look at that. Man City. Man United, Liverpool. Chelsea. Look at that. Chelsea lost at home to Liverpool. At home to Man City. And they clearly think that this is going to be a bad season. This this particular season, actually, no, yeah, going on to February 2015. Yeah, this is the season that they won the league in real life. So, and look at Arsenal out there. Who's in the relegation? Yep, Southampton in the relegation points. Stats, player stats. See, goals, Memphis Depay. Obviously, uh, there are players here. If you think... It's not really 2014-15 season because I've done the update, remember, that has all of the players in that have been signed now. Most of the players. I mean, it won't have Pedro at Chelsea because he's just gone through recently. But, for instance, assists. You've got James Milner, who tops the assist chart there. Player of the match. Um, here, red cards. Jonas Olsen, quite a few red cards there. Uh, and goals. Right here. Where's... There's no Liverpool player on the list. Balotelli, Sturridge. Uh, Benteke is not even on there. Firmino, five. Joe Allen with five. I doubt it. Anyways, let's go ahead. We can always keep track of the results in the Prem. It's going to be quite interesting. That's why I put the Prem in there, because I thought it would be kind of interesting to... Um, look at all those results from the Premier League. Uh, Chelsea beat Arsenal. What the hell? Hang on. Let me just look at this guy's profile. He looks like an absolute twat. Look at him. He's like, oh my god, how old is he? 29. We'll scout him, but I don't really want to have a massive twat at the club. But, you know, every club has... Come on, every club has a bit of a twat, you know. <laughs> Diego Costa. Liverpool defeat. Liverpool have lost in the first knockout round on away goals after a 2 2 aggregate draw with Benabachi and Field. <laughs> I was crying at first, but then I just thought, lol. We're at the 40 years old. I do not want to sign a 40 year old player. What the f? I don't give a shit about 40 year old players. Uh, how about 150? Up front, bro. Oh! Why not? Uh, four weeks, Rasmus Elms. So he's our best player and he's out for four weeks. That's great, guys. Lynchby Bold Club. Danish First Division. If you're watching this video and you know about Lynchby, let me know. Um, am I saying the name correctly? Oh, young boys. Lima bid. I mean, everyone's just coming and trying to buy my players. Um, how much is he worth, anyway? Well, they are giving me way more than he's worth, but... Let's ask, ask for 500k. Really? Okay. Basin Stokes sack Jason Bristow. That sucks. Do you want to give me a job? No, I'm joking. This is a Kalmar playthrough, guys. Uh, did I fight out for four weeks? You're absolutely kidding me. How much money do I have now? Because, oh, look at that. Yeah, transfer budget. I've, I'm going to clear my wage budget a little bit. At the moment, we need to focus on getting the squad up to scratch for the season. I think that's going to be a competitive match, the Swedish Cup. What's that? Liverpool, Liverpool win Capital One Cup. Oh, nice. They beat Swansea at Wembley. Match preparation. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Rogers, yes, I know. Stop it. £207 a week. Let me get this straight. Okay. No problems. I don't think we're we'll going to be able to get many players with that. But we'll, we'll have a look anyway. Transfer history. Ah. This is the outs, these are the ins. So actually... I've only bought in one player. 
<laughs> but I've sold well loans and then a sale there so there we go right we're gonna start this game now what I often like to do is I, I often like to just give the team talk to the assistant manager unless it's kinda important uh, opposition instructions usually I don't do anything sometimes I do it depends if I'm getting desperate like when I'm in lower league I will start changing things if I'm not too sure um, we'll do it for now and see what happens and then I'll ask him to take the team talk there so there we go guys um, let's get this match underway there's a big crowd here today of um, God knows how many fans. Can't see there. Oh shit, Lynchby are. Oh, come on. Come on. No! Lynchby have only gone and scored. So that was a cross from outside there. Brockman gets the ball and puts it past, past the shitty goalkeeper. You're playing like shite, boys. Uh, assertive. I expect a win from you still. Uh, right, let's change some things. So we've got Tobias Eriksson there. We have got Papa Juf. He made a big deal when he came on last time. Um, who else have we got on the bench? Stefan Larsson. I thought he's on his way out now. David Elm. Put him up front as well. And we'll put Nori on as well. Right, go boys. Come on. Let's pick it up. Oh, there it says the attendance there. Um, 1,720. What a great attendance, guys. Uh, come on. I'm going to have to go on attacking now. Come on, guys. Get that goal, come on guys. Oh, it's in, it's David Elm. Oh, it made all the, well, Papa Juf has made all the difference here. Papa Juf comes on, Elm scores. That's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted. We'll go back to counter-attack and we'll stick with what we got because it's working. Come on, 2-1 guys, 2-1. You know you want to score another goal. Come on, you know you want to, oh, it's so close. Oh, it's 1-1 one, one in the end. We'll just say to him, failing to win these matches is unacceptable. But it made a difference bringing on Papa Juf. We're going to have to think about him on the right-hand side, I think, um, because it worked. We really do need, like, a class centre-back. I think that's going to be the main thing. I'm, gonna, I'm more of a defensive coach, and I would say that it's more important, especially if you've got a team that doesn't have the attacking means, to focus on defence rather than just going out to get an attacker. Um, with these sides that you know are in either lower divisions or you know no disrespect to the Alsvenskan, although all the teams are there or thereabouts, you know the top teams are Arcor and that they're just you know above and beyond. So you need to find you need to get as many decent defenders in as possible, tall you know stocky defenders that are going to grind out these draws and results that are going to get me to the top of the table um, in Alsvenskan so hope to make managerial debut uh, decent turnout 5000 tickets this is my first um, proper match so I'm a little nervous I'm a little nervous guys but I'm hoping that we can get a result here. So we'll put Papa Juf on and David Elm to start and I think that might be a bit better. Alright, we got to I believe we've got to win the group to get through. And Arcor is in the group. We won't apply any advice this time. And we will ask to do the team talk and we'll start the match. And let's see what's going on. So we should be playing left to right and we've got the red kit because we're at home. I don't know much about Degafors actually. I will check after the match or so. Oh, Gutu! You beast! It's Gutu! Lines up on the edge of the area. Absolute beast of a sh Well, actually, no, it kind of. It was kind of lucky um, because the goalie was a bit shit. 
Um, Degafors are in the first division elite. Um, I don't know what tier that is actually. First division? No. I don't know. I don't know what tier that is. But we're going to go back to the match and continue. So that's one nil up, guys. We need to kick on, but I'm going to say to them, don't get complacent out there. Keep going, guys. We need to get the results. Ah, and what we do want to do is we want to have a league table up there. And I like to have latest scores as well, just floating around there just to see what's going on uh, with the rest of the group. So we are currently in the lead in the group uh, we're in the lead in the game as well uh, I'm gonna make a substitution at about 66 minutes uh, tactics right just had a good game Victor Elm looks a little bit tired who have we got that we can bring on Tobias Eriksson here and um, Romarino going to change Lima as well right there there we go, get on with it guys. Hopefully those changes will be good ones. Let's see, David Elm is injured. No, we don't want, really want that. I was going to change him earlier, so I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't know. Uh, are we still top of the group? No, Icor. Ah, come on guys. Oh, we've won! I've won my first match, official match in charge, and uh, we're going to just calmly say to them, don't get, let yourselves get complacent, because I, I think that we should have been better than that, to be honest. Um, so it's going to be between Kalmar and Eichel, I think, uh, in this match. Um, I won the match. Um, we're going to do the next friendly. How many friendlies have we got until the start of the official season? We'll try to do... We'll do two more matches in this video. Kalmar could win by three or four goals, they said there. That's pretty good. Um, let's give him a quick team talk. Come on, boys. I don't even know who we're playing. BK Olympic. Whatever. They are in Malmö. Oh, good good work, Jonathan Ring. Well done. Well done. Um, we'll put Papa Juf there. Because he's our main man at the moment. He seems to be making all the goals. Um, so we'll see if he can create from the left as well. Marcos and Marcus Antonsen. Kind of need him to get a goal. Uh, still for the taking. Doesn't matter if we win this match. As I said, friendlies are not important. We do have a proper match coming up in the Swedish Cup. So we want to make sure that we're fresh for that. Söderberg in goal there. Didn't even know. <laughs> Um, come on guys oh Antonsen oh I thought he was going to score there comes back to I don't even know what his name is um, we're going to make some changes as well Argadius David Elm we're going to rest Stefan Larsson I thought he was already gone but never mind Ingelson we'll put there because I didn't realise he was even Gutu, he is pretty good, isn't he? Ramhorn. And we'll just put the other goalie on just to be nice. Because it's a friendly, so who cares? We can do it anyway. I want to save those injuries. Oh, it's nil-nil, guys. Failing to win these matches is unacceptable, guys. Is that our first... Hang on a second. Is that our first draw? No, we drew earlier on. We haven't lost yet, though. So, that's... Uh, that's four matches undefeated now. Yeah, friendlies, a couple of friendlies, and one competitive match as well. The Icor match, I think, I really want to save that for the next video. Um, so we'll see what happens. The Icor match is going to be very interesting, guys. For for those that know. Uh, a little bit more about our Svensson. I don't know very much myself, but I know that Icor is one of the top teams. Stockholm. Ah, no, I'm joking. Because um, uh, in real life, uh, unfortunately, Kalmar lost 2 1 to Icor the other day, but I was watching to the last minute, and seriously, 
They nearly scored. Kalmar nearly equalised, but it just wasn't to be. So, we've got to try and win this match again to win the group, to get through in the Swedish Cup. As I said, I think from the green... Um, from the green line on the top of that group, I think that means that you have to win the group to progress. So we're just going to start with that. Icor are playing uh, Degafors, so we're playing Bromma Pojakana. We're the favourites here, so show us what you can do. And we are playing in... is it the white kit? I think we're playing in the white away kit here, yeah. So, left to right. Oh, bollocks. 1-0 down already. We've got to sort this defending out, to be fair. Uh, that's not good. That is not good. Um, oh, bollocks. It's 2-0 down. Um, hmm. I'm going to put them more defensive. For some reason, I find that if you just go more attacking straight away, it doesn't always work. Um... I'm going to be quite aggressive with them and tell them what the f*** are you doing. Um, also, Papajiv really should have started, to be honest. Um, what else can we do? We can put a player in attacking midfield instead of defensive midfield. And see if that works. Oh, it's Papajuf! Papajuf makes the difference again! Papa Juf seems to be, I mean, he was playing like wank in real life, but, I mean, on the game, he comes on and just explodes. I, I need to remember to start him. The, the game doesn't automatically start him all the time. But we're still down 2-1, and we've still got a lot of work to do. 65 minutes in. See if we can get a goal now. Oh, it's a penalty! Who's taking them? I don't even know who I set to take them. Hopefully it's Elm. It is David Elm! It's 2-2! Come on, David Elm! He saved us from this embarrassing loss here. Uh, let's check the rest of our players, how everyone's doing. Rabarino, how is everyone on the pitch? Come on, guys. Can we get the third? Can we get the third? It's starting to work. Come on, I can smell a th Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, no! I said I could smell a third, but not from them. Uh, we're going to have to go attacking now, guys. Oh man, I did not. Why? Why does it look like there's only three at the back? Sandberg Magnuson. Oh dear. It looks like we're going to lose. Yep, we've lost the game, guys. Absolutely unacceptable. Not acceptable, guys. Who is. Who are these guys, anyway? They're in the First Division Elite. So, yeah, not great. Obviously, I've got some tweaks to do, and I'm going to save that for the next video. Um, Post-match press conference. Anyway, guys, yeah, not great, but the next few matches will be a big test to see where we are. Obviously, I don't know much about Vestjeland, probably Danish. No? Uh, Danish. Yeah, Danish. Anyways, we're going to play them, and then we got Icor. Then we got a friendly. Oh, and shit. Then we got Icor again? At home, though. This is Icor away in the Swedish Cup. So, we got our work cut out for us. Where are we in the Swedish Cup? Third. Oh, wow. Okay. And there's only. What? Is it three games that you have to play? It's three games that you have to play. So, I have to win the next game. Anyways guys, I will see you in the next video and hopefully we can get the season up and running and we will start to see some more fluid play from Kalmar. Let's win our Svenskan. We'll see you in the next video. Take care Ringlets. High five!